welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be back. I had a very exciting weekend at Ipsy Live and I just got home yesterday and I just got home from work. Um, so it's Tuesday when I'm filming this. You should see this video go up on Wednesday. I'm trying to get back into the swing of things, trying to get back to my old uploading schedule. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Uh, it's so hard for me to break away from the every other day schedule because I'm so used to it, but I don't want to overproduce content either. So I'm always interested in hearing you guys' feedback down in the comments on that. I'm going to do a separate video about my Ipsy Live experience, so look for that in the upcoming week. Um, I think the next video that's going to go up is this look that I filmed. So exciting. I did pick up the Carly Bible palette. So that is the eyeshadow I have on my eyelids and my foundation is the new Juvia's Place Stick Foundation which my gorgeous friend Amy bought for me to Jen Live and she gave me some shades because she got the whole range and uh, some makeup that Miss Angelica gave me too. So this is like an awesome like new makeup, get ready with me, chit chat, makeup my friends gave me at Ipsy Live kind of video. So stay tuned for that, that'll be my next video that goes up. Today though, I wanted to talk about my favorite thing, um, new makeup releases and whether I'm planning on picking them up or not. So without further blabbering, let's get into it. So exciting things, is anybody surprised ColourPop is coming out with another collection? This one was just announced this evening, it's called Bye Bye Birdie and it is a magenta, is that what they're calling it or uh, is it magenta? I don't even remember what the theme is. I definitely saw. It's a very purple vibe, if you ask me. Uh, but it's cute. It's really, really cute. The packaging, they always nail it. There is so much in this collection. There are some stick products. They've got some lip products. They've got the eyeliner, the mascara, and the gel liner. They've got some lashes. They've got some nail decals. Like, ColourPop went all out, so there's a ton of product. This is launching on Thursday, I believe. Oh no, this is launching on Friday the 18th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So I hope your wallets are prepared. I haven't even gotten my recent order from ColourPop yet. I will talk about that release when we get to it because it hasn't even been talked about on my channel yet, so don't want to spoil it for you guys. But yeah, this collection is gorgeous. Um, I've kind of slowed down on picking up every ColourPop palette that comes out, so I don't think I'm going to be buying this right when it launches. It reminds me a lot of the Colored Rain Power collab palette, those purpley shades. I already have those 10,000 times over, so I won't be picking this up, but I do think this is a beautiful collection, very honest. I, I do think it's beautiful, not that I need any of it, but... I wouldn't judge anyone that wanted to pick these up because they do look beautiful. Very, very pretty. So Sigma is doing a collab with Roxette. She is super, super gorgeous. She's a YouTuber. I don't watch her channel, but she's got a Sigma collab coming. And there are one, two, three, four, five brushes. So it looks like it's $87, which is kind of a steep price. F27, which is an iconic bronzing brush. And then they have a fan brush a wing liner, a tapered blending, and a medium sweeper. So I like the idea. The brushes don't look necessarily like they go together. Like if you got this set, it's not going to help you do like an entire look. You definitely need to add more brushes, but I guess for somebody that's like a collector of brushes, that's really into brushes, you could definitely, you know, use this in your collection. I'm not particularly a huge fan of fan brushes for highlighting either. So this is not really very exciting to me. When you're seeing this video, this collection is going to be launching today at 9 a.m. on Sigma Beauty and you can use the code TRENDMOOD to save 10%. So the next thing that launched, and this launched I believe today, this is Anastasia's Halloween collection. They basically just came out with a bunch of glitters. So there's five new shades, Salem, Ghastly Pumpkin, Potion, and Phantom. And these are $15 each, or you can get a kit for $40. So obviously I was hanging out with my two queens this weekend, Angelica and, and Amy Loves Makeup, and both of them do the same series on Sundays. They are like my first thing I do 
when I wake up on Sunday morning is I watch Angelica's video and then I watch Amy's video. So it was so funny because Angelica is very outspoken. She says exactly what she's thinking, which is what I love about her because that's exactly what I'm like. And uh, she's like, who is buying these glitters? Like, why is Anastasia coming out with these glitters? And I have to personally agree, I don't really know who's buying all the glitter, but I mean, that's cool. I know glitter isn't really that hard to get, so I feel like $15 a glitter is kind of steep. But I did notice, because I was on the Sephora website, and I did notice that some of the ones that came out with the Norvina palette, the, the Pro palettes, some of those glitters are sold out, so people are clearly into glitter. I personally went through a glitter phase a few years ago where I bought all those MAC little sets that came out for holiday each year. I had a ton of them, and then I just went through a phase where I didn't care, and I just decluttered them all on Poshmark. So if you're into glitter, let me know down in the comments. I'd be curious to hear what your take is on the whole glitter situation and Anastasia. They even... We'll talk about that later. Anyway, there's so much to talk about. Like, I have multiple collections from the same brand in a two-week span. That's insane. So Jouer came out with their holiday collection. They did a essential lip care duo, a rose cut gem blush and cheek topper, and some kind of best of lip collection. So I used to be really, really, really into Jouer liquid lipsticks. I think it's time to declutter them. I saw them in a drawer the other day and I was like, mm, I never go for these. So there is a huge lip declutter in my future, I know. I just need to like find the time. It's just been so busy since the start of September. We've been traveling. So now is like my stay at home till 2020 December because I have no trips planned from now until the end of time. So anyway, um, the I'm not really interested in the lip care duo or the lip collection. The blush palette kind of sparked my interest, but I honestly am on like a no blush, no highlighter buy. Again, there is definitely a highlighter declutter in my future because I have so many highlighters I never use. I have been really, 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 really excited to use this guy by Becca. This is such a beautiful highlighter for my skin tone. It's called Dreamsicle. And it's just so beautiful because it like, it like melts into my skin. So it's like such a natural looking highlighter. So I'm like, wow, I could use this for the rest of my life and be happy, honestly. Um, not that I'm going to stop buying highlighters forever, but I'm so happy with this one. So what I want to do is go through all my highlighters and compare them to how I feel about this one and be like, do I love this one more than this? Do I, you know, I just want to like really do that for myself. So because of that, none of this is catching my attention. This will launch on November 11th. So Huda is launching some holiday lip sets for 2019. These are similar to what she's come out with in the past, but this time it's her bullet lipstick and a lip pencil. So I think that's a really great deal. She's got two shades so far. It doesn't really say anything about how much or when, but I bought some of her previous sets and I thought they were really good deals. I won't buy these ones because I haven't really heard the best things about these lipsticks. So I'm good and I'm not really a bullet lipstick person and if I wanted to buy a bullet lipsticks, I'd buy Maybelline or Colourpop, to be very honest with you guys. So this is exciting. This is also a Huda release. So she came out with three palettes. This is the Obsession palette and they are the nude collection. There are three of them and they're $29 each. There's a light, medium, and a rich. These look so pretty. I would have loved to see them in person. If only they had come out one day sooner in New York City, I would have gotten to see them. And the funniest thing is I went to Sephora like so many times when I was in New York and I told my friends this and they kind of made fun of me because they don't believe it's true. But I swear if I had access to a physical Sephora store, especially like the big ones you see in New York, I think I would buy a lot less makeup because it would be so easy for me to talk myself out of things when I see them in person. Like I saw so many makeup items in person and I was like, ooh, like I saw the hourglass palettes in person. I saw the, there was nothing really that I wanted, but I saw like the NARS holiday collections. A lot of it, when I saw it in person, I was just really unimpressed. And so I think I would actually save money if I had a Sephora store, which is probably why I don't have a Sephora store near me. So I would have loved, loved, loved to see these, but say la vie. So I um, told myself initially I wasn't going to buy any of these, but 
Since I do have a YouTube channel, I thought that you guys would find it very helpful if I at least reviewed one. So I decided to get the deep one because that one really, really spoke to me. I think it has some really interesting, beautiful dark shades. And I thought you guys would be proud of me because I didn't go completely savage and ham and buy all three. So I'm going to try out one. See what the quality is like because I didn't necessarily love the Neon Obsessions. So I've had like mixed feelings about the Obsession Collection because I really didn't like the first one she came out with. Then I really liked the Gemstones. Then I didn't like the Neon. So I'm hoping this one will be a hit. And so it'll just be fun to see. I'll compare it to the New Nude palette that she came out with. Was that last year? And uh, we'll see if we should buy all three. I don't know. I feel like the light one is really light. But those purple colors are like really sucking me in. So yeah, I hope you guys are excited. I will definitely try and get a video up on that as fast as I can. For you guys, of course, duh. <laughs> I don't even know if I care to talk about this, but let me just talk on, talk on it real quick. Um, Kylie's coming out with some eye glazes. Four shades for fall, October 18th at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I think these are such a good idea, but I really, really hate putting my fingers into pots and like applying eyeshadow with my fingers so I'm gonna stay away from that whole situation all the time no matter what brand it is I don't buy pot eyeshadows so Glossier came out with a new future dew oil serum hybrid packed with nourishing oils while brightening plant-based extracts deliver an instant and lasting glow so basically it's like a face oil that also gives you like a glow 24 bucks. I don't really buy anything from Glossier to be honest with you guys So you'll have to let me know if you try that out how it is. This was really funny This one got me right before I got on the plane yesterday. This is a brand called La Rock and I believe they're a UK brand I think I posted about this on my community tab in case you guys didn't know my community tab is poppin We talk about new makeup releases on there. It's so fun because I get to read you guys's reactions to makeup releases and we just get to have fun conversations on there so my wonderful subscriber told me that she's tried this brand before and they're like an affordable brand in the drugstore I believe is what she said so she said she's always wanted to be perfect palette the newer one the XL Pro or the original I don't know which one but I said I have the be perfect palette so I don't want this and she said she wants to be perfect palette so she might pick this one up if, because it may be more affordable, which is exciting for her. Okay, Huda's coming out with a new product. It is a Sticky Tack Lash Glue Restickable Lash Glue. I think this is kind of a cool idea. I don't necessarily know how this will work or if it'll work well, but Huda tends to do pretty decent products. It's $14, it'll be out on October 15th, which I believe is today as I'm filming this. I have our other lash glue and I really like it. It stays on really well and it's easy to take the lashes off so it's the best for both worlds. So I'd definitely be curious to try this down the line. Currently not on the market for a new lash glue. So Kylie's holiday collection, everyone's kind of talked about this. It's weird, right? Like everyone's saying the same thing. They're like, the packaging isn't really doing anything for me. The collection is kind of boring. I mean, it's a pretty big collection. She's got like her liquid lip set and she's got like some little sets and like a face palette and stuff like that. I'm sure Kylie fans will always continue to buy and support Kylie Jenner, which is great. I'm glad she has her core audience group that keeps her going, keeps her brand going, people that are genuinely excited for her. That's awesome, but this is so, so not for me. And if you just cover up that bright pink shade called Candy Heart, it's just another neutral palette. Like, it could be the new nude, so... And I love the new Nudes palette because the quality is amazing. So I would be passing on that. Already, I think I've talked about how badly I want this. This is the uh, P. Louise Face Base. And, ooh, okay. This is interesting. Is this like a set that I can buy or what? Wonder how much it is. I'll have to check it out. But, yeah, they've been available on Morphe for a couple of weeks now and I really want to try it but I'm too stingy to pay for shipping and I don't really have the extra dollars to pay for shipping so eventually I will get it maybe if Morphe's having some kind of free shipping day or something let me know if Morphe has a free shipping day DM me okay help me out okay next we're going to talk about Lorac this is Lorac's new collaboration with Rachel Zoe 
And I think I saw somebody like, you know how you watch like Instagram stories? Sometimes you're like watching, but you're not really watching, like you're not really paying attention. I was passively watching Instagram stories and I saw somebody show these palettes and they looked beautiful. I didn't even realize they were Lorac. And this is really cool. They have some glass trios, some mini palettes. The mini palettes are $15 each, which I think is a great price point. There's four of them. And these just look really fun. I think this would be a fun gift for the holidays. They look beautiful, like nighttime looking palettes, like very going out appropriate, very holiday appropriate. So I think they did a good job on the collab. I believe Rachel Zoe is like a stylist or a designer or something of the sort. So she's pretty well known. Other than that, I don't really have too much to say about it. I'm happy Laura did something. You know, we've been waiting for a while. I think the last thing they did was that little neon palette. So good for them. And then The Way, which is really like a hair care brand, um, launched a body cream for $38 and a cleanser for $28. I don't know what bougie people are buying this stuff, but I just buy like my lotion and body wash from Target. <laughs> So Trenmu does like Trenmu spotlights and they spotlighted the Harvest palette which is a fall inspired palette by the brand Creative Soul Cosmetics which is $30. I think this color scheme is beautiful. I actually really really like it up until the pressed glitters which I could like rip out. And the warm tones so, like if I if the palette didn't just have that first row I think it would be gorgeous for me but you know it's not always about me, so, um, yeah, I think this is a great palette. Beautiful shades, definitely reminds me of fall. Um, maybe I can try and do some kind of similar vibes type palette in my collection just to try out. Um, they revealed some shades from the Jeffree Star Shane collab. Everyone's, like, losing their shit. This whole, like, docuseries thing is really, really interesting, so it'll be interesting to see what final shades they do pick from the samples they showed in the docuseries. I'm curious to see what happens. There's definitely some great names and some great shades. So really, really curious about that. New brand called Kimchi, Kimchi Chi Beauty. Is that how you say that? I don't know. I know she's a famous drag queen. And I believe she came out with a collection with Sugar Pill not very long ago. And this palette honestly reminds me of that palette. So... I don't know what to say about it. I think this palette is just like every other palette that's a neutral with a pop of blue and pink. We've seen this many, many times over and this will launch tomorrow um, or today, October 16th when you're seeing this. This palette, oh my gosh, this palette definitely, definitely was like the talk of the YouTubers at Ipsy. It was so funny because I don't know, I just had like this aha moment when I heard that this was happening. So James Charles announced the mini artistry palette and I was sitting in my hotel room waiting for Angelica to get done with Crater Day and I was just chilling, I was so tired and I watched his video because I was so curious about it and there were some interesting comments from him. It was just weird, like, I don't know, I don't really enjoy his personality, um, but... He's a character. He's definitely like trying to be really good at marketing and I can definitely see people falling for the stuff that he is saying. But I think that's where we really need to employ critical thinking as consumers. Really like listen to what people are saying and like try and decide for yourself like are they really like telling the truth? Do they believe it? Do I believe it? Like really think about that. So he had just said so much about how he worked on this project for as per usual like nine months and I'm like so you worked on the project, which like, I think nine months ago was when, isn't that when the original launched? Like, I don't remember, but somebody gave it to my gave it to me for my birthday. So actually maybe not because um, I got it pretty late in the game and I've literally like used it once. I really need to use that palette. Um, I kind of want to do some looks almost just to see um, how it performs, <laughs> but uh Anyway, so I just thought that was really interesting how he said like Morphe approached him for a collab and he was like, what should I do? He just thinks that he is so proud of this first palette that he made. He doesn't think he could do anything really better than the palette he made, which is basically a giant rainbow palette. So 
if that speaks to anyone's creativity, it's like, are you never going to do another collab, James Charles? Because you did one rainbow palette, now you're done. <laughs> like, that that was kind of interesting. Um, I feel like he could have done maybe like a vault type thing, like Jaclyn Hill, and done the different color stories in mini palettes. I think that would have been kind of fun. Just because, like, maybe people didn't want to buy a giant rainbow palette because there would be whole sections of the palette they weren't really interested in. So I feel like Morphe should really hire me to be on their creative team because I feel like the vault concept or the vault vault concept would have worked really well for somebody like James Charles and his big palette because you could have done like a blue pink section or a green yellow section like he could have done like smaller more curated palettes and I think that would have been a great way for him to make more money because they could have sold the vault as one big palette they could have done bundle deals they could have done anyway they could have done a lot of stuff so anyway instead of all that they decided to give us a mini palette with a mirror so you can travel with it and it was so funny because I think most people were just like Okay, his fans are like 13 year olds, like where are they traveling to? Um, but I can totally see this selling because people are nuts about Morphe and people are nuts about James Charles and it's like the perfect time because it's the holiday season so you know tons of kids are going to be asking for this for Christmas so he really like capitalized on this and picked the perfect time to come out with this collection. The other thing that Amy mentioned in her video and I don't know if Angelica is going to mention this in her video but... I had like a moment where I was like, of course, this is why he was so mad about Wet n Wild coming out with their dupe version because their dupe version is like just as big, but it's much, much more affordable. So, hey, if you guys, you know, don't want to spend that price of the mini palette, buy the Wet n Wild dupe. You'll get the same, like a huge palette for like 14, 15 bucks, which... That's how the cookie crumbles. Like, if you never protested a dupe palette before, don't get mad when somebody copies yours. Like, you know, it is what it is. I don't know. I feel like the whole thing is just, like, going to be this smashing hit because of the timing. It's Christmas. I just know there's going to be kids out there asking, begging for this palette for Christmas. I just know it. Okay, so the next launch. This one was so disappointing. This is, like... One of the most disappointing holiday launches of 2019, Dominique Cosmetics teased this collection called the Sweater Weather Collection. I definitely thought it was going to be an eyeshadow palette and I was so excited because I thought she was going to do something like the Vintage Rose palette that Give Me Glow did, but Dominique Cosmetics is in Sephora, so I was like, oh my gosh, this is going to be so great because people are going to ex experience like this amazing color story. And I just love that she chose the concept of sweater weather because I don't really know that there's, maybe I just don't know myself, but I haven't really heard of a brand doing that. And I just thought this could have been like the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora palette meets like some beautiful pastel mattes. So I think if they had incorporated some beautiful multi-chromes, like shades that you see when light hits snow, like beautiful sparkly shades and some beautiful like pastels maybe a white um like an icy blue like they could have done so much with this and then they gave us this boring ass palette of like some purples and like a black matte and like what like who is gonna buy this for 29 fucking dollars okay it's a set so you get that and then you get a liquid lipstick and cozy and a gloss in sugar and spice the gloss looks beautiful it's a warm nude with gold flecks it's a beautiful color. It looks very mustardy, honestly, in my opinion. But oh my god, this palette is such a miss for me. I'm so disappointed in in that palette. I just cannot believe that that's what they came out with. So when I was going to all my Sephora's this weekend, I saw all of this in person. I saw the uh, Fenty Beauty Holiday Collection. So they came out with the Glossy Posse which is a five mini shade collection of those little glosses. They came out with some mini body lavas. There was a mini liquid lipstick. Like, some of this stuff was pretty cool. Um, they also had a lipstick and a highlighter set. I really, really want the red glossy bomb, bomb, gloss bomb. I don't know what I'm saying. In that set. But I bought the original Gloss Bomb, and I didn't really love the formula. I know people are crazy about it. It's like one of those cult classics at this point that everybody loves that I don't. Should really film a video on that. But 
yeah, I just think it's so, like, I don't love the formula. So even though that red shade is just, like, calling me because it's, like, a beautiful watermelon bright red, I have not picked it up yet, and I don't think I'm going to. Okay, so here is the other ColourPop collection that I wanted to talk about. This is their... I want to say it's like their Halloween collection. It's not really a Halloween collection. It's part of their monochromatic palette series, and this is called the Smoke Show Eyeshadow Palette for $12. They also came out with some Glitterly Obsessed glitters, and they came out with some Super Shock shadows. Um, they did some liquid liner stuff, like stuff that they already have. They're like re-promoting. But yeah, I'm excited for this palette. I did pick it up. It's so funny because I think I had like a bad day and I was like, fuck it. And I bought their Fourth Ray Beauty spray. And then I got the Lilac palette just for shits and giggles. And then I bought the Smoke Show palette because I thought it would be a fun one to do, just do like a look with and see where I ended up. I don't know. I just, I just felt like it. So I bought it. So look for a video on that hopefully soon. And then... Pat McGrath's full holiday collection launched on her website. So she came out with her matte trans lipsticks, the Blitz Astral Quads, which were sold at Sephora. And then she came out with a new shade called Ritualistic Rose, which I did order. Um, and in case you guys are wondering too, Samantha March did a really interesting video on how, you know, creators always like buy makeup. And she just, you know, how she went into debt on trying to, make a successful YouTube channel and all that stuff so I thought it would be interesting for you guys to just know how I like buy stuff so Pat McGrath does have a payment thing on her website where you can buy it and then it's like four or three interest free payments to pay off the product so you can like break it up which I think is great honestly because her products are so expensive so that's what I usually do um, if I'm able to pick it up on her website and then usually when she launches a product she does offer a discount so I did buy it on her site and then I just did the payment plan. So I'm gonna pay like $19 uh, for three months to get that palette. So hopefully it's good because if it's bad, I can't return it because Pat McGrath does have a very strict return policy on stuff like that. But since it's an exclusive, I have to get it on her website. And then she did come out with like a new product because I haven't seen this. She came out with some highlight cream. So it's like a cream eyeshadow, I believe. She came out with two shades it was a pale gold and a blue and i believe mel thompson bought both of those and she already has a video up on it so check out mel's channel if you're curious about those products okay so nabla is coming out with a full collection just in time for the holidays these are their highlighters they're called skin glazing by nabla and there's like five shades i know somebody got this in pr wink wink nudge nudge um, and I know lots of people are really excited to see these highlighters and see people talk about these highlighters. I like that they did a variety of shades. This is what I feel like ABH needs to do with their Amarizi highlighter, except Nabla already beat them to the punch because it kind of almost looks like an Amar like an Amarizi highlighter times six. Um, so they're giving people with different skin tones the option. I hear it constantly in people's videos like why won't ABH make different shades with the same formula, like similar colors, or different colors with the same formula of the Amarizi highlighter. So, hey BH, get it together. If you wanna make money, get it together. So, Charlotte Tilbury's holiday collection, I did see it in store. She's got that big $75 palette, which my friend Nethni, um, she's actually a Sri Lankan YouTuber. I'll try and remember to link all the videos I'm referencing in my description box, but if I forget, don't kill me, just search these people's channels um, but she said she didn't actually enjoy the palette so I'm kind of bummed for her because it's so expensive um, but I just thought I should spread the word that she didn't think it was that great I didn't even swatch it and it honestly looked like a snooze fest in the store so again it was makeup that I saw in person and it talked me out of it and yeah I mean it's always cute packaging with her but none of it's really like sucking me in so I'm definitely planning on passing on all of the Charlotte Tilbury holiday stuff and then Juvia's Place launched their new shade stick by um Juvia's Place launched their new shade stick foundation it's creamy blendable and hydrating and you can use it to contour conceal highlight and it has a natural finish for all skin types in 30 shades $16 each 
This is the foundation I am wearing today. My friend Amy loves makeup, was so kind, and bought me three shades because she is on the Juvia's Place uh, PR list because she's fancy. And they sent her all of the shades, so she was kind enough to give me three shades to try out, which is so, so awesome. And the shade I'm wearing today, is it Madagascar? No, I think I'm wearing Dominicana is the shade that I put on that I thought went with my skin. And uh, if you want to see, again, how I carried up this look, make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you get notified when I upload this video, which is coming very, very soon. <laughs> Gigi Gorgeous is coming out with a collaboration with Ipsy. She was actually at the um, Ipsy Live. I didn't really get to see her. I don't really care, honestly. <laughs> Couldn't care less. It just looks like um, you know, a bunch of like really neutral stuff. I think she's like a really sweet, great creator, like done a lot for the community. She is gonna go places, obviously, and continue to grow and be huge in the industry. Um, this will launch on November 1st. I actually canceled my Ipsy subscription. I actually canceled my Ipsy subscription. The only reason I signed up was to get money off my ticket to Jen. Ipsy Live, Jen Live Ipsy Beauty. Um, and now that I uh, did that, I don't want to get any more glam bags because I hate them so much. I hate getting little samples of things. So Real Techniques launched their holiday collection on Amazon. I love Real Techniques. They're my favorite affordable brushes. And it looks like they came out with some really fun sets. So if you are a mom, and you have a young person in your life that wants to play with makeup and you want to get them some solid brushes, I would really, really encourage you to check out Real Techniques for yourself or somebody that you don't want to spend a ton of money buying them like expensive brushes like Sonia G or Rain Goss or something like that. And I think Real Techniques is probably actually cheaper than Morphe too. Don't quote me on that. Elf launched a hugely obnoxious holiday collection, these palettes. Look so disturbing. This big one, like, who asked for that? There's some beautiful brush sets. I mean, it's all great. The thing with me is, like, e.l.f. is so cheap. When I go on the website, I, like, buy a bunch of stuff, and then I'm never happy with half of it. So I never end up using it, or I have to declutter it, or throw it away because nobody wants it. So I'm not going to do that to myself. I'm just going to stay away and be happy. So Milani launched some new glosses. This is called the Lud Ludicrous Gloss. Okay, whatever that means. 12 shades, $8.99, shine, a pop of color, ultra moisturizing for super comfortable wear that lasts. So I like glosses, but I'm not really like one of those people that needs to buy like every gloss and try out every gloss. Like I need to buy every eyeshadow palette and try out every eyeshadow palette, but I'm not like a gloss hoe. You know what I mean? Like a hoe that loves glosses. I'm not that person. Nothing wrong with being a gloss hoe. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but... These look nice. Like, if I see one in the drugstore, I would maybe consider it because it looks juicy. Like, it looks very juicy and delicious in that terracotta shade. Like, game over for me if I see that in the drugstore. But, yeah, and I really like Milani. I think they're a great brand at the drugstore. So, that is that. The Anastasia collection that I wanted to mention is their holiday collection. They are launching, or they already launched because it's the palette I have on my eyes today. The ABH Carly Bible Palette. Also, they launched some mini loose highlighters as well as some lipsticks and some loose glitter in a kit. So, lots and lots of fun, fun things. I'm really interested, obviously, in the eyeshadow palette, which I bought. And the loose glitter, I've been eyeing because I really like Peach Fizz, that highlighter I picked up when they launched the... Jackie Ina palette, I believe. Really, really interested in that. I also think the loose glitters are beautiful because they're iridescent. And I watch way too much Amy Loves Makeup and she's been making me want a really light multi-chrome inner corner highlight. Um, so I might pick that up. I'm not 100% sure, but I did pick up the eyeshadow palette. And if you wanna know what my thoughts are, like my initial thoughts, check out my video that's coming up soon. So, ColourPop came out with another collection while I was away. This is the third collab with Disney. They did a collab called Midnight Masquerade, and I believe I watched like a video that they did um, where they show more of the behind the scenes of this collab, and they, I don't know, the inspiration was like if the princesses went to a ball. I don't fucking know. There is so much stuff. 
Um, there's an eyeshadow palette, and then they came out with highlighters and lipsticks for each of the princesses. As somebody that has the in first two palettes, and like, I was like, oh, I bought the first one because I was like trying to live my like Disney fantasy, and then I bought the second one, and now I'm just like, nope, you're not getting any more money out of me. I don't even use the two palettes I have, which again is why I need a declutter in my life. Like, a declutter is coming soon to a Karen Harris makeup channel. Soon. God, I just, it's so terrible. So, I'm not gonna buy this. I'm not gonna buy it. I've heard good things. I think Samantha March got some of it in PR and I saw Julia Mazzucato just talk about the lipstick and the highlighter she bought. She seemed to like it, but I don't need it. So I'm not gonna buy it. Okay, so I don't think I talked about this in my last Will I Buy It video, but e.l.f. came out with a collab with a YouTuber called Nabella. And then once I saw who Nabella was, I was kind of really excited because she is a YouTuber and I believe she's from Bangladesh. So she's very, very, very close to like the part of the world I'm from and there's not a whole lot of YouTubers successfully like in the LA scene that are from like Eastern Asia. So I was really like my curiosity was piqued. I'm kind of disappointed that they only gave her like a set and she did a highlighter, some brushes, and one lip. I feel like when you're collabing with a person that has such a diverse background and can reach so many people from a, from a diverse part of the world. And the other thing, too, that I was telling all my friends this weekend, I'm like, I don't understand why brands don't try to appeal to, like, the medium skin tones. Because if you think of, like, India and how big the population of India is and how interested and excited people in that part of the world are about looking beautiful and glamorous like you guys should see like if you've never been exposed to it just like look up an Indian wedding and see how much like beautiful makeup and color those women have and even like Sri Lankans, Pakistanis, Bangladeshis like that whole part Nepal like there's so many so many countries with so many beautiful medium skin tones and I really really wish that I mean, I'm so happy that they did this collab. I think this is like the start and it's so smart that it was a brand like e.l.f. which is affordable, but I really wish that they had taken full advantage of having somebody with a medium skin tone and done more products to meet that market need. I wish she had done a range of lipsticks, you know, because this shade is a very light nude. I don't even think I can really pull off this nude shade because I like a more brown nude. This is like a New nude. I'm planning on buying this. I don't know if I will um, because I don't really want to spend $35. I want to buy the set, but I'm very conflicted and I feel like brushes, like anyone can do brushes, but I really wish they had given her more lips, more maybe an eyeshadow quad or something like that. And I would have loved to see them give her more highlighters. Um, and we felt the same way when I was talking to my friends about it with Alyssa Edwards, Ashley? Edwards, El Alyssa Ashley, they did like a, a gloss with her. I felt like when you're collabing with those medium rich skin tones, it's so great if you can just do a little bit more, give them a little bit more access to create some more things um, because I think the medium skin tone community is very underrepresented in the overall beauty community, but that's like my five cents. Um, let me know what you guys think, of course, as always in the comments down below. Oh, did I talk about this? I feel like I talked about this. So I'm really excited for this palette. I'm waiting for it to come to Sephora because I don't want to pay Manny shipping, but Manny's Moonspell collection looks amazing. I kind of want to like get inspiration from Hannah Louise Poston and I kind of want to do like a duping the vibes kind of video. I've never really done that, but I have two palettes in mind that kind of have the color story that they're showing in this palette. So I'm going to see if I can do a video like that. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys are interested because I don't want to do it if you're not interested. And I just love this. I think the packaging is beautiful. I watched his video, like I said, in a different video a few weeks ago. I feel like Manny has grown up. I mean, you know, I'm not going to like swear on my life that he's grown up, but he definitely exudes more confident. He's not as catty, not as whiny in his videos or like the few videos I've seen. So I'm really, really happy for him. You know, this is why it's so important not to just cancel people because 
everyone makes mistakes, everyone could have a bad day and say a bad thing. And I think as a community, I think we should all encourage each other to be more positive. And especially like to subscribers, especially after spending time with creators this weekend. And I don't even think like me telling my subscribers is gonna help because my subscribers are amazing. <laughs> I mean, granted my channel is like, not even half the size of some of these people's channels. Like, so many YouTubers were talking about the nasty comments they get, and it honestly broke my heart because meeting the women I met in person, they're just like me, they're normal girls, they're not, like, yeah, they have these bigger platforms, but they're so, so normal, so, so down to earth, they don't think that they're, you know, untouchable or like, I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it, but if you could just take the time to be kind to everyone you meet on the internet, I think that YouTube and the beauty community would just be in so much better of a place. So that's what I want to encourage you guys to do. I'm um, sorry I'm going on a tangent. Let me get back to new makeup releases. So Soul Body is coming out with a gradual sunless tanning lotion. I don't know anything about tanning lotions, but I think some of my YouTube friends got this. I have no opinion. Uh, but just so you know, there is an alternative to more expensive tanning products. Mm -hmm. This brand, Lawless, which Samantha March raves about, they launched a mini size palette and it's called The Little One and it's $25 and it'll launch, it launched today. So, I mean, it's like a neutral palette. Oh, I'm not gonna buy it, but honestly, I did just buy the mini nude palette, but I did meet Natasha Denona. If you guys haven't seen, I have a picture with her on my Instagram as well as on my community page, but I did get to meet Natasha Denona, and to meet her, I had to buy something, and I was kinda eyeing the mini nudes anyway because I wanted to pick up like a few souvenirs, you know, so I bought makeup, and then she signed it, and it's around here somewhere in my makeup room. I would like to show that to you guys in a haul video eventually, but that was pretty cool. She was really nice and of course, like, you know, just super gracious and I had the same makeup on all day and I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm meeting Natasha Denona without the Metropolis palette on my eyes because I decided to, well, what palette did I even wear? No, I did wear the Metropolis, but I did a neutral look and I, Anyway, she had all the green shades. She looked gorgeous and she's like, you should do my eyeshadow. And I was like, bitch, don't lie to me, but I love you. Keep lying to me. Like, she was cool. I'll talk about more of that later. But um, Sophia Nygaard collabed with ColourPop. How, how are we still talking about ColourPop? So they came out with a lipstick set for Halloween. I thought this was actually really, really cool. I don't, these are not my vibes. Like the nude was cute, like, but again, I'm not gonna buy a lipstick set anytime soon because I don't need it, but uh, yeah, it's cute. And it was what, like $46 for the set, $8 individually, and it has this cute custom packaging. I think it's adorable. I think it screams to the Halloween loving makeup artist soul. So I hope that if that's something you're interested in, you were able to pick that up. And oh, I didn't get to talk about this because that was announced after I filmed my last Will I Buy It video. So, um, Trend Mood is gonna come out with a subscription box. I think this is so perfect for her brand. I mean, like, she's the one that's always like talking about new makeup releases. So I think if she was able to get some like exclusive products that launch in her box before they launch the mass market, I feel like she's gonna have a huge hit on her hands. And I feel like companies will definitely take advantage of that option as well because it'll boost hype, it'll generate hype. Um, it'll generate extra sales because people that will get it in the box will probably get it a little bit early so that it'll create buzz on the internet and stuff like that. So I think it's like the perfect thing for her, honestly. Like, so if you find a creative way to make money on an original idea on the internet, who am I to tell you nay? I think this is great and I hope she does well. I think it's a really, really, really good idea. Physicians Formula is coming out with the ultimate Murmur Butter Collection. It includes 58 shades, limited edition for $39.99, a bronzer palette, a highlighter palette, a cheek palette, an eyeshadow palette, and a lip palette with a mirror. Uh, I mean, this is like a makeup artist's dream, right? <laughs> Just kidding. I mean, it's beautiful. It's got some cool colors. 
I know there's people, again, I feel like the Mora Mora Bronzer has a cult following, even though it's not really like the oldest product because I think people, when you think of like cult followings, they think of like Whisper of Guilt and like some of these older products, but I feel like the Mora Mora has been around now for quite some time. They've done some shade expansions. So maybe people will really enjoy this. I think somebody will definitely ask for it for Christmas. Um, I won't be asking for it for Christmas, but I don't think it's the worst idea in the world. And I think it's cool that they're coming out with new creative ways to, you know, enhance that product line. I would really like to try out a Murmur bronzer in my shade because I haven't done that yet. The shade I bought was too light for me, so I put it in my makeup kit, but I'd love to try it in a shade that would work with my skin tone. So that's definitely on my list of things to do um, if I go to a drugstore anytime soon. Okay, so NARS came out with their huge holiday collection. Honestly, I saw some of this stuff in person and it's so, it's beautiful, but I don't really care about it and I don't really want to talk about it. So ColourPop continued on with their whatever collection by adding some new stuff. They added some nail decals, some falsies, and then they also added a curated palette. The new, like the new um, empty palettes from ColourPop are so cute because they're leopard print. If you guys don't know this about me already, I have a slight leopard obsession. So it like really like, but I don't like the ColourPop empty palettes because they don't have a clear top and I feel like that's kind of like a deal breaker for me so passing on that okay guys so since I don't want to absolutely hate myself when I'm editing this I am going to end this video right here thank you so so much for watching this will I buy video don't forget to leave me a comment down below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already please do so because it would make my day I'm trying to hit 4,000 subscribers Hopefully by the end of the year that would be so stellar if I did that like how cool would that be? So yeah, definitely go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and I will catch you in my next one soon. Bye guys